Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was not really feeling like the middle of August. High temperatures today only in the 60s. We had to go back all the way to the beginning of June to have temperatures that were cooler than what we saw for today. Now, if you're not a fan of it, I'm sure many of you are not. We do have some summer like weather returning just to the west of us. Fargo International Falls, Sioux Falls in the 70s. That's heading in our way for tomorrow, so nothing too concerning to worry about today. We need the rain. We, I mean, it is summer. We typically get showers and thunderstorms every so often. So today was a gloomy start to the day. Hopefully you didn't have the day off. Maybe you're working, so it wasn't too much of a washout in your scheduled plans. Now the rain is starting to come to an end. That area of low pressure now moving off to the east. You can see the large area of rainfall that's moving on to the east side of Lake Michigan. Still holding on to a few light rain showers right now. But the more intense activity is actually in northern Illinois, where we got some showers and thunderstorms firing up, where there is even a risk of some severe weather, a marginal risk for storms, hail damaging winds as the primary risk. And that does extend across our far southern tier counties in Wisconsin. But for us, just a thunderstorm outlook, and really it's just been rainfall today. We haven't really had a whole lot of thunder and lightning associated with the uh, rainfall during the afternoon and evening. At the moment, the heaviest and really just any rain for that nature is up to the Northwoods, parts of Door County, Clintonville, Shawano Mountain picking up on some rainfall and even hugging right along the lakeshore, perhaps just north of Manitowoc into two rivers. And this is another radar imagery that shows the intensity of the rainfall, the, the rainfall rate. And where you start to see like the reds and the pinks, that's the heavy rain. We're not seeing any of that in our viewing area. If you head down to the south in northern Illinois where the thunderstorms are ongoing, that's where you're picking up on some of that types of rainfall intensity. Here's a closer look showing parts of the Northwoods picking up on some additional light rain showers. Also in Door County and Kiwani County. Further down to the south, not much is happening. But as we continue to move into the evening hours, this is going to be pushing off to the east. And look how quickly the uh, skies are starting to clear. Probably holding on to some cloud cover as we head into the rest of the evening hours. But in terms of any additional heavy rainfall, we're really not expecting much. So while we still have a flood watch in effect for Sheboygan and Fond du Lac counties until 11 o'clock, not really expecting any substantially additional rainfall that would prompt any advisories or warnings to be issued. As we move into rest of tonight, the rainfall will be starting to wrap around and fizzling out. By tomorrow morning, it looks like some clearing skies are expected across our area. So for tonight, dipping down into the mid 50s with rain showers ending, maybe even some patchy fog. For tomorrow, getting into the upper 70s and mostly sunny skies, wind shifting out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mid 80s for your Wednesday. Late Wednesday night, we do have a chance of showers and storms. That could linger to early Thursday morning. Dry weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But take a look. The heat does return as we move into the weekend.